and thanks for staying with us. Nigerian Customs Service impound more goods from smugglers operating in the eastern part of the country. Also on customs reports, the Contra General Customs Strike Force arrests smugglers operating in different axes in the eastern part also of the country. Plus, more report. I am Egesemi Engineer. Stay tuned. The newly appointed Zona Coordinator in charge of Zone A has said that the management of Nigerian Customs Service will continue to implement measures that will promote trade in Nigeria. The custom boss made the appeal in Lagos. She also urged importers to make sure that they clear their consignment with correct papers. Um, I'm really, really, really overwhelmed, but I am very happy to see everybody. I am very, very happy. What brought us here is change. That's why we are here. You know, for life, the change must continue until we breathe our last. And that is why our, what our CG will always, you know, have on. That's why he came to bring a change or to bring changes. Mm -hmm. And changes are always for the, for the best, Inshallah. for good. So, in furtherance to that change that the CG will always talk about, I am going to lend my own voice to that change. We, 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 we apply changes or change because we want a better tomorrow for us and for our children. That is why we apply change. But our main change here, which can never be enough, is revenue and then people's security, revenue. You know, over there in the headquarters, we go looking for it anywhere is hiding. We go looking for it. But this is, Zone A is the home base of that revenue. Mm. I was telling officers when, you know, they were, ah, you are going away, I said no. It's what, I'm, it's what we are doing here that I'm taking to Out base. There. Because if it goes bad with Zone A, then the paper, you know every day, mm. we must print yes. the revenue yes. figures. Yes. If anything goes bad in Zone A, especially, it will reflect in that sheet of paper that we print every day. But if it gets better, it will reflect. That's what I saw. It's, it's one family. It's one family. Incidentally, I worked here. I came here as, a, as an assistant controller in 2006. And um, I was the AC welfare, AC enforcement and secretary to the zone. Mm -hmm. I, handed, I handed over to my sister here. In fact, she's still holding something that belongs to me. Oh. <laughs> so, and... Later I came back, we walked in this very room. Everything, you see what I'm talking about, change. What I saw here, you know, in the zonal coordinator's office, it had not always been like that. Some changes took place there. And even this room that we are here now. And even us, physically, mentally, changes take place every day. So, the change we are talking about, we must apply because that's why we are wearing this uniform. Mm -hmm. And God will give us, like he said, if we always remember that we are nothing without God, we are nothing without prayers. If we do our best and then we tell God about it, he will certainly bless the words of our hands and then bring about the desired change that we want. The Nigerian Customs Service say that anyone caught with smuggled goods will be arrested by customs. The order came from the controller further pressure in the zone C. We have base of uh, second-hand clothing. 
thou there were six from seven trailers. All along, we started getting information about this place. We and for the, for the past two three weeks, we have laid siege on this area, as to be able to know what's happening. That has resulted the pragmatic and authentic effort of the officers has just resulted in seizing seven trailers of second-hand clothing, which I'm talking about, about 561 bits. They were extracted from the trailers because of packing, packing issues. Also, we have rice. We have other items here. It's high time we started making people to know that smuggling is the, not the best business for anybody. Because customs officers of today, they are ready, they are prepared at any point in time to strike. The day I got to Zone C, I made it known to everybody. It was, it was on broadcast that everybody should stop smuggling. Because if you divert from Benin towards Enugu, we are there. If you leave Enugu towards uh, Calabar, we are there. Any angle, anywhere you want to perpetrate your that, that, uh, that study act will be there waiting for you. They were not intercepted one day. Like two were intercepted along uh, coming, two were coming from uh, two were coming from Port Harcourt. And it was intercepted. But what we just what it did was that we noticed that where the officers parked their vehicles some Guys were going around the place until they stopped the Okada people and seized their items. Under Section 77 of the SEMA, we have the right. In fact, you can even be, be in prison if you signal to smugglers. If an officer is to arrest someone, you signal to a smuggler, you can be arrested. Under Section 77 of the SEMA, of the SEMA. it's covered. So until we seized their phone, so they could not get across to the smuggler, because they wanted to know to, to uh, intimate that we are already on the way. That was how we could get the first two. And the, other th other, the three other ones came in from Aba, and they were brought in here from uh, one village. I don't know the name of that town now. So it was for that we brought it to this place. What we have here is about 65 million, 133,000. The unit also intercepted used tires and other contraband items. It says smugglers should either stop the illicit act of smuggling or continue to have their consignment seized and forfeited to the federal government of Nigeria. You can see what is on ground. This is called, what is called marijuana, which yeah. is in their air. Yeah. We were just pick up just now. The officer will be on, on trail of this vehicle because the duty is. Notice is always passing by around 4 p.m. every day. And why? They were started start suspecting it. One of the officers, out of his own ingenuity, snapped the plate number. So today, when it was coming, they uh, contacted their colleagues at the other side that the vehicle is on its way. They waved it down, it did not stop. They pursued it until they got towards uh, uh, that Odisha Bridge. That was why it was picked up this afternoon. You can see we have, we have no way the, the quantity of what is happening. We have, you, have, you don't know we have about 21, 21, bags. 21 bags or 21 bags, as it may be, but we have not weighed. It was picked up this afternoon as we are coming from Enugu. We have a trailer of rice here. But as we were coming, I had to start offloading because of the rain. It was concealed in that trailer over there as it was carrying the cement. But the officer, their eagle eye, they were able to pick it up. They asked him to even stop too. He too refused to stop. But they were still able to bring him here. He's carrying 430 bags of rice. He was just offloaded to the uh, that container uh, that will just be constantly warehoused in that container. 
to avoid, uh, avoid the rain from beating it. We have other items. This one is carrying what is called absolute prohibition, which is use fridges. It is absolutely prohibited from being brought to the country. Nestra is against it, custom is against it. If you look at what we're having there, what we're having there, they are used fridges. And you know the effect of the carbon something from uh, used fridges. That's what government says should be prohibited from coming into the country. There's an agency in charge of that, even later on, we see hand over to them, Nestra. We have other items, footwear. In Enugu State, the controller won importance against presentation of fake papers for clearance of their consignment. The unit also sees bags of rice from smugglers operating in Imo State. He commended the community leaders and youth for their assistance to the success of the seizure. So he said that the management of the customs is ever ready to implement government policies to the latter. The controller said that importers and agents of prison and the nation's support should always present the right papers for importation and exportation of consignment before coming down to customs. You are watching the program Customs Support. The Controller General of Customs Strike Force has again impounded drugs worth billions of naira. The leader of the strike force urged importance to stop importation of fake drugs into the country. We are here to showcase their activities spanning from the 20th of September 2018 to 19th of October. That's a period of one month. Within this period, a total number of 2,185 bags of foreign parboiled rice that is suspected to have been smuggled into the country were seized. As you can see here, it's clearly written, Thailand parboiled rice. The seizures being the hinterland, Zone C, have most of their seizures from cars, buses, passenger buses, and trucks. These seizures are as a result of credible information given to us by Good Samaritans and, of course, the Customs Intelligence Unit, the CIU. It is from these credible intelligence that we are able to make these seizures. When information is given to us, we ensure that we get this information processed into credible intelligence, which will now result into these seizures. He said a total of 67 cartons of tramadol tablets and codeine valued at over 12 billion naira was seized by the CG strike force. The custom boss also said 538 bags of cannabis with 10 kilograms in each bag were also seized by the customs. He pointed out that the impounded contraband were 2,185 bags of 50 kg foreign rice valued at 52 million naira. 600 pieces of used tires for the that 4 million naira were also seized by the customs. This is a commodity loaded by the company that there is nothing inside apart from the products of the company. Then, having been sure of our source of information and as credible as it was, we are able to now detect that what is inside is not the company's product as she claims to be, but cannabis. cannabis concealed carefully in these bags, 180 sacks. So the cannabis now are in two trucks, here 180, the other one 345. This is another consignment. This time it is Tramadol and codeine syrup. These are banned drugs. Now, drugs of cannabis, 
consignment of tramadol not within permissible limits. These are drugs and substances that pose danger to public health. The importation of these are prohibited. It is in this regard that I'm appealing to patriotic members of the public to always avail us, to partner with us, to synergize with us, to cooperate with us in ensuring that we read the society of these illicit drugs. It does not do anybody any good when our youth engage in taking of these banned substances and drugs. The fight against illicit drugs is a fight that must be undertaken by all and sundry. The strike force also sees 516 bills of used clothing valued at 33 million naira. 35 sacks of used shoes valued at 1 million naira, including 100 cartons of vegetable oil valued at 3 million naira. These of used pneumatic tires were found here in Zone C. They have also made arrest of similar goods, used pneumatic tires. An item found in Schedule 3 of the Common External Tariff import prohibition list thread. The importation of these is prohibited because of the dangers it poses to the users. Used pneumatic tires, some of them are worn out, some of them are expired. The dangers it poses to commuters and transporters is that these things get bust while in motion and it, co it may cause accidents which could be fatal. Therefore, we are soliciting for the assistance of those members of the public who know about these things to still avail us with valuable information as to how we will be getting these consignments and getting them seized because we would want to ensure and contribute in making our roads safe. He said that the decision was mainly in the hinterlands of the state and attributed the success to credible information from the public and customs intelligence unit. The seized drugs has been handed over to NAMDAC according to the Leyland rules. He has this to say on the management of the, the customs. The outgoing commandant of Customs College in Abuja has said that custom officers nationwide should continue to implement policies without fear or favor. The Assistant Contract of Customs Somali in charge of Customs College Abuja made the appeal as a buyout of the service. Inspector Guard of Honor mounted by men of the Nigerian Customs Service. Sir, hey, service number 42389, DSC, SF Ndaba. Go, Commander. Go, all the Nigerian Customs Commander start calling. Ready for your address, sir. Standard! Aye. He has this to say on the management of the customs. Today, by the grace of God, uh, the time is here. And uh, it's the Chikan. It's a uh, stepping thing. Uh, of all the places that have uh, uh, worked, and, uh, uh, and uh, particularly positions of command and control, uh, beginning from the uh, PTML, uh, CAC PTML, uh, uh, controller of the brass audit, SLA, or uh, then the controller joint tax force, custom CFC and ICBC. Controller Tinker Allen Force, Controller Motor Mobile Air Force, Controller APAPA, then Zona Coordinator Zone A, then SCG, SCG HRD, and then the Commandant of Nigeria Customs Commanders of Police. Of all these positions, I think uh, 
this in my opinion really uh, was exciting because it is a new, completely new ground for me. And uh, all along it's been revenue, 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 enforcement. Uh, uh, my ministry, my ministry have always been collect every cobalt due for every metal. And it's been revenue revenue. And so this one in particular uh, became so exciting for me. And you people here made it that exciting for me. Because you made it easy for me. I made things very simple for me. Before your soldiers were given, you were already there. That we were always uh, that we were always on the same page in our talks and our actions. Uh, there was a fine chemistry. A good synergy, and uh, I appreciate that. And I'm saying thank you for all of you this morning. Some of the staff at the college also has this to say. We pray that as you go, you are telling that God will go with you. Amen. Our prayer, all of us here, is that one day we will live like this. Amen. But let me assure you. We have not gone yet. You are still with us. Um, when we started inviting guest lecturers, we will call you from time to time to come and deliver lectures here. <laughs> <laughs> when we have any difficulty, by the time we sit down in this room and crack our friends and no solution, I'm sure we will call you a phone call away. Um, it has it been easy. We came here, we started from scratch, and we built this college like this. Fortunately for me, we are the only one who is there. The team is still here intact. <laughs> and we have all of us that are seated here because we are actually part of the larger team that has worked on that. To say we wish you the very best as you go home, sir. And just like the commandant, the incoming commandant has said, sir, you are not gone. You are still with us. And uh, any time the commandant deems it fit and we brainstorm on any issue, there may be need for us to reach out to you for solutions, just like we have been talking while you are here. It has been a very wonderful experience working with you. We learned a lot about leadership from you and uh, uh, many lessons for both of us and will aid us throughout our career. We, have, we started when he was in the college, right there, to draw the entire curriculum for. Nigeria customs and stuff, including the structure of how it was going to be. And the MOU, in fact, everything from the foundation was there and spent days in the Air Force and Staff College coming up with that document. And uh, it is what has been guiding the entire process in this place. Uh, just fine tuning, and then a few things on the ground when you look at it, you make small I mean, adjustments here and there. I think it has been a very rewarding experience for us. I benefited from you more than anybody here. Twice in the course of my duty, your actions shamed my enemies. I remember when you were questioned to Peter Mel. I was in charge of container gate. Classically, container gate was the best position that an officer should occupy. You met me there throughout. The first week you were in the command, my enemies were busy celebrating that Hamisu's time has, has come to an end. Hamisu was appointed by his brother from Katuna, and somebody from Bayasa is coming to take over, which means my equation will not balance. <laughs> <laughs> but the first day, SG educate came to Farid. The way you shook my hand passed a message to my enemies that it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and this will remain a dust seat and that water. The second position was when you came to Papa. I was a star officer in the busiest terminal, APM2. There also enemies started to work. That time is time has ended. He's coming, somebody from Bayelsa is coming to take over. I miss mean, time will go, will go very soon. You came, sir, you continue working with me. Sir, I learned a lot from you. Your actions corrected 
most of my inadequacies. Sir, I want to make a further declaration that your perception is not a wicked perception, but you are very strict to the core. We are human, everybody has to own shortcomings. By the time we appreciate our shortcomings, I think we will have a very good assessment of ourselves. Just before we round up this week edition of the program, because some support, we brought you a report where goods what millions of naira was intercepted by customs submissions throughout the country. For me, Egesemi Thanks for watching.